Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm going to cry. This blanket, oh my god. So we've just checked into our lodge for the evening. Gorgeous, look at the lights. Good morning everybody. Hello, good morning. How are we all doing? I hope you're all very well. Welcome back to my channel and to, do you know, like really an exciting video for me. I'm super, super excited because um, I'm doing my first kind of like overnight trip this year uh, as a press trip. So the wonderful, lovely people at Waitrose have invited me down to a place called Leckford. It's the Leckford Farm. Um, it's an estate where they actually make some of their lovely produce. And um, yeah, they've invited me down for a 24 hour staycation with them. Mad, absolute madness. I, I, I feel like the luckiest guy alive. And if you'd have told me a year ago that this would have been happening with everything that's gone on, and if you'd have told me when I first started out online that Waitrose, which I've loved for years, love their food, love what they're about, love their recipes, would be inviting me to stay with them for an evening. Ah, immense gratitude and just overall joy. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I'd take you along because I've had a look online and the estate looks gorgeous. So I thought it'd be really nice to just show you around. Um, there's going to be some lovely other folks there too. So I just think it's going to be a really lovely trip and I thought why not vlog it because I know you guys love that kind of thing. So Zara swapped her days around at work so she's working from home today and tomorrow looking after Maggie. So yeah I, I'm so excited. Um, the time has just gone 11am. Had quite a busy morning just trying to like wrap things up. Pardon the festive pun. And it takes about an hour and 40 minutes to get there. So I just need to check the draw. Legford Farm, Longstock. There we go. Hour and 46 minutes. So that's perfect. So I'm going to drive and then I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. I've made myself a coffee for the journey. I'm just very excited. It's going to get Christmassy. I hope you're in the mood for that. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. I've arrived and I can hear music. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna cry. So I've made it to the estate. This is gorgeous. Like, I, 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 oh, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of this, guys. This is special. I just drove through the most scenic countryside. It's magic. Right, we're gonna head on in. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is the lovely Janelle. I'll leave her link down below. She's fab. They've got a whole gang here. Um, yeah, and we're having a lovely, um, this is the Blanc de Blanc, which is the sparkling Brookford, Brookford, Leckford fruit. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. So we've just finished our wine tasting of the Leckford um, Brut Estate. It's gorgeous, it's such a lovely wine. And obviously, I'm all about celebrating things that are made and produced in England because I might be biased, but I think we are, we're quite good at what we do over in this little island. So um, it's lovely. I'll give you a quick tour of the estate because it's gorgeous. I think they're gonna show us around. Um, but I had no idea this was here. I'll obviously leave it links down below. We're in like the Sussex area, so it's around an hour and a half outside of London. Um, but this was the final wine that we tried, which is a mixture of the two grapes. So it's got a red and a white grape. It's gorgeous, absolutely delicious. So we're gonna enjoy. So there's quite a lot to the estate. This is like the fa um, farm shop area and they've also got like a Waitrose cafe through there. And then they've got all of the Christmas festivities going on over here 
to, I think it's like a, effectively like a huge garden centre. Um, so hopefully we can have a little bit of an explore, maybe in the morning. Um, and then over here, we've got some people cooking some fish. Obviously I'm veggie so I can't have that, but we've just got the fire on over here. It's just lovely, it's very nice. So like I say, we've just had the wine tasting and then we're gonna have a dinner this evening. And we're staying in like log cabins. Oh, I just feel so festive. Like I'm very, very happy. just had a tour of the grape fields, the vineyard, and then they took us to where they make their cold pressed rapeseed oil. And now we are in the garden area. I think they call these the winter garden. If you've ever been to Amsterdam, it reminds me a little bit of Vondel Park, which is a beautiful park in the middle of Amsterdam. It's just so nice magic, let me show you. Look at those trees over there, oh my God. Magic. The um the, the Waitrose tour people just said there might be some koi carp in this water too, which is lovely. So we're just about to make a wreath, which is my third wreath of the season. So starting with the base of the wreath, so we're doing the moss, oh sorry, and then um, we're gonna be attaching the foliage, but this is the, the base of it. <laughs> The base of the wreath is done, and then now it's time for the foliage. So the lovely um, woman, the waitress, have basically said, take as much as you want. So we've got some rosemary here, we've got some um, kind of like sprayed eucalyptus, which looks gorgeous, some holly, which I'm definitely going to use, um, we've got some red berries, some different types of um, foliage here. I'm not quite sure what this one is. That's beautiful. So this is my finish I'm quite impressed with it, I'm not gonna lie. It's very um, it's very maximalist. There's a there's a lot going on. But I love it. This is my third of the season. And um, I feel like it's my best. So I'm quite proud. I'm just gonna pop some ribbon on and then I'm done. So we're all done wreath making. Everyone's wreaths look gorgeous. We're just gonna bag them up now. I added a little um, green ball to mine just for a bit of extra something. So happy with it. I'll show you it once we're home on the door. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So we've just checked into our lodge for the evening. Look at this, there's a Christmas tree up. And there's some lovely little goodies from Waitrose. What have we got? A Heston Mandarin Negroni, oh my God. Oh, and some cheeky little tumblers. This is my little bed for the evening. Oh my God. And we've got loads more treats from Waitrose on the beds. And some gorgeous goodies from Rituals, Aveda, Neom. A John Lewis Winter Spice candle. Even a camera. Christmas decoration. No, I'm sorry. This is too much. So, this is my outfit for this evening. However, um, I've left my suit in the boot of my car, so this is just gonna have to do for now, and then I might change depending on what we're there. Sorry about the lighting, it's very intense. However, um, yeah, we've gone for trousers, a black roll neck, and some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Loafers, that's the word. And um, so this is the Christmas tree. I think this is from John Lewis. I could be wrong, but I think they've basically decorated everything in John Lewis and Waitrose things. It's very nice. So we're about to head in for dinner. Look how magic this looks. I mean, this is incredible. We've got the smoke going on over there. Gonna head on in. This is wonderful. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Are we ready? It's not often I'm lost for words. I am genuinely lost for words. This is possibly the most beautiful table decor I've ever seen in my life. It's like it's genuinely like Christmas, it's just, oh, let me show you. So they've got this gorgeous like, table skip that's ran all the way through the table. Look at this, oh my gosh. Beautiful installations, crackers, obviously all from John Lewis. Gorgeous, and look at the lights, <gasps> amazing.
right, so this is the menu this evening. It's a Christmas at Legford vegetarian dinner menu. So we're starting with a king oyster mushroom and then a cauliflower cheese fondue. And then finishing with Christmas pudding and a Kraken penny marmalade sauce. <gasps> Look how beautiful that looks. The setting is stunning. There's like a frying pan and then popped a little bit of butter in, mm -hmm. then in with the hot scallop, seared them off, and then you've got our number one sauteurne. We've been served two desserts, which of course, I mean, why not? We've got a giant penny, which is created by Heston, and barbecued Christmas pudding with, um, I think it's like a grape, grapefruit, what did this is? Sorry, would you like to make that This is the wonderful Katie Picks. Oh my god. No, you, she's the OG. You guys will love, love this woman to the bones, my viewers, if anyone who's foodie. She's fantastic. I'll leave her Instagram link down below. She's wonderful. Come on in. But all of those who follow Luke, because you obviously assume he is an absolutely wonderful, lovely person, and I too have stalked him for many years. Oh, stop it! Oh, I'm the best man. Stop it! Yeah, no, that's so kind. I will leave both Janet and Katie link down below. They're absolutely gorgeous. We're about to have some. Oh, you, you, how is it? Is it good? Yes. Yes, we what can. Oh, I think that might be the song. Mm. This is why she's wonderful. She does the things I want to do. <laughs> that's valid. Oh, that's what we like to hear. Right, we're gonna dig in. <laughs> Last night was so, so nice. I'm trying to talk quite quiet because uh, the cabin we're sharing with, I just don't want to wake them up. Last night was magic. Like, I love Christmas, as you know. It was the best evening. Waitrose, there's something about Waitrose, the way they do Christmas, and the chefs that made last night's dinner, it was nothing short of magic. They are genius like we had this like roasted cauliflower it was quite loud so i didn't manage to film much but um yeah it's like a roasted cauliflower which traditionally for a christmas dinner you'd have turkey and um, but they served venison and fish that they'd been cooking throughout the day for the guests who ate meat it was just wonderful and um, oh, i had the best night's sleep oh my goodness they popped some things in the room that we could take home with us. This blanket, oh my god, this cabin was so toasty. Um, I'll show you the outside. But this blanket, oh, I think it's from John Lewis. And it just feels so soft. I used this neon pillow spray, which just sent me off in a very blissful sleep. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I really don't want to leave. It's magic. Let me show you where we are. So it's daylight now. We checked into the cabins late last night, so it was quite dark. But yeah, these are the cabins in the woods, and they're just lovely. They're all like nice and warm and wood. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous. Honestly, I slept so well. <laughs> I'm just going to jump in the shower, get ready, and then we're going to go have a breakfast where we had a dinner last night. And um, one of the chefs just sent me a message on Instagram to say you're in for a treat this morning because they've been prepping breakfast So I don't know what we're gonna have. I don't know how I'm gonna find room because I'm still so full from last night I had two helpings <laughs> um, So yeah, I'll get ready and then take you along for breakfast I am very glad that I drove because I don't think I would have <laughs> quite coped taking all this on the train. There's um, got a lot of baggage with 
the extra lovely bits and bobs and also a wreath. <laughs> so um, yeah, very grateful that I'm driving, but I'm very excited for breakfast. I didn't think I'd say this, but I've woke up with quite an appetite. I don't know how that's happened, but yeah, I'm ready for some food. So we've just arrived back at the place where we had dinner last night. So this is the farm shop and behind us we're having breakfast outdoors, which is just a joy and they've lit the fire. So we're gonna have a real nice breakfast. Al fresco, what a joy. So we just spoke to the executive chefs who put a breakfast platter on for us. Some Christmas music is playing. And what it is, but it just sets me off every time. I have had like the best trip and it's just made me really appreciate the outdoors. It's gorgeous, it's so lovely. I'll show you what we're having for breakfast because it's a whole course. So the lovely chefs have been cooking up breakfast this morning. We've got some turkey hash underneath, some muffins, some eggs, and then we've got some Waitrose salmon up top. So this is breakfast this morning. We've got a crumpet with some salted spinach, mushroom, and hollandaise with a poached egg. I've got a black coffee. They cooked all of this on the barbecue. How amazing is that? And then we're just having breakfast with this gorgeous view. Doesn't get much more special than this. I'm deciding to eat my breakfast outside. Everyone else has gone indoors to enjoy it, but I just, I love eating outdoors. It's something we don't get to do often in the UK, so I thought, why not? So I'm gonna dig in. So this is my third portion of breakfast. <laughs> I've gone for a granola, um, a like mulled wine, compote, yogurt, and then some kind of curd, I think. So I'm gonna dig in. So we've just finished our breakfast and I thought I'd do a quick roundup of some lovely bits on the Lexford estate. So we're outside the nursery, which is where all of the garden plants are and Christmas bits and bobs, so I thought I'd show you that. of their Christmas trees. They've got a giant reindeer. <laughs> How wonderful. We're picking our Christmas tree up tomorrow actually when I'm filming this so it's very much getting me in the Christmas spirit for sure. They've got all of their lovely ceramics and pots here too. There's a garden, gardeners galore I would say. Quite like these terracotta ones at the back too. A dream one day to hopefully have a garden and we can pop things like this in it because it's lovely. By the time this goes up we'll be well into um, December so I imagine you'll all have your Christmas trees but if you haven't let me know when you're putting it up. But, um, we're about to head inside now so we're gonna have a look at all of the Leckford produce and show you around. I thought I'd show you guys around all of the produce they've got in the farm shop before we leave. This is what we were drinking, this is the Leckford Estate Brew, it's gorgeous. These are lovely as well, the little tea towels. Got all of the fresh fruit and produce as well, and all of the Christmas stuff. Look at this. Oh. I'm a huge fan of the Cartwright and Butler range. I think it's honestly gorgeous. We recently tried the Waitrose mulled wine too, and it is actually very nice. I thoroughly recommend that. There is honestly, there's so much to take in. I'm gonna leave this link down below. If any of you are local or within the area, um, I definitely recommend, because obviously they sell Waitrose products as well as a whole different range of local producers as well. So I think that's really important. Right, I'm just about to head back to London. That was honestly, <sighs> probably one of the nicest, if not the nicest trips I've ever been on with a, a brand. And it just felt, I just said to the lovely team that it felt like we were a family. It was gorgeous. like the best time and I'm definitely going to come back here because it's just lovely but um yeah thank you all so much for watching this I'm going to vlog a bit more when I'm home because I'm sure Maggie will be excited <laughs> Maggie <laughs> look who it is I would pay to be looked after the way you look after Maggie the what way you're actually so nice to her and not me anymore I've been replaying <laughs> <laughs> this is what you used to do to me. Don't be now so I never used to liver. call you a big piglet. I thought I'd just show you the bits and bobs that Waitrose left in, in the rooms for us because I didn't show you the um, the food bits. You were the talk of the event. Everyone loved you and they hadn't even met you. <laughs> a lovely pair of um, Italian cashmere socks. 
in a green colour, which is very handy because the socks I wore to dinner last night had a hole in them, so I threw those out. And these are cashmere. I've never had cashmere socks in my life. How lovely is that in the, in the green colour? Um, Ren is a lovely one that's an anti-fatigue bath oil. Rituals, which you know I love. Yes. Um, a Rituals bestseller. Um, I did use the moisturiser out of this. It's like a best-selling kit, so like a skincare kit. Um, also some lovely Aveda. And this is all available on John Lewis, by the way. I think it's their gift and range. Some Aveda Cherry Almond, which is two of my favourite, favourite scents and flavours. Hair care. I also did use this as a neon pillow spray. They included these. How lovely is that? A set of two Ooh. whiskey tumblers. Uh, so these are the John Lewis. I think they're the, are they the Any Day range? No, Paloma Opera uh, tumblers. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, oh, they're a bit of us, Zara. Look at those. Very fancy. Maybe it also did include a John Lewis um, organic silk eye mask, which I didn't use because I was submerged in darkness, li literally when we were sleeping in the woods, so um, that'll definitely be handy in London for sure. Uh, there is a, so this is the food stuff, a Waitrose Panettone bacon kit, which I love. I've never made a Panettone in my life, so I feel like this will be a nice way to actually make it essentially from scratch, so that'll be a nice Christmas thing to do. Maybe we can make that together. Uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, ho, 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 ho. more mincy pies. Um, these are six brown butter mince pies with cognac. Uh, apparently, the guys at Rachel said these are the creme de la creme. Don't tell Heston because apparently he's a really good. We did we did try Heston's and we loved them. Well, actually, there's a, there's something in here which I know you're definitely gonna love. Uh, this is the Heston Blumenthal Lazy Negroni. So you literally just pour this straight from the bottle. How lovely is that? So I'm gonna have that in my tumbler. I might have one this evening actually. I have a chocolate panettone, which. You oh, will like yes. the Rituals and Partners chocolate panettone, which is lovely. Some mouth-watering mini fudge honeycomb, which I actually tried last night. They had a little uh, pick and mix station, and I did have a lot of this. <laughs> very, very nice. Um, yeah, this is the decoration. This is from John Lewis. I thought it was very apt. It's a golden camera. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this on the hallway tree. And um, Oh, there was also this from John Lewis. Can you believe this, Mackie? It's a spiced winter spice candle. Our cabin smelt of this. Very nice. Like, okay. it, I'm going to go as far as saying, nicer than the next one. We yeah, like the next winter statement. spice. This is delish. Oh, should we like that tonight? Have a smell. Mm. How are these? Nice. That'll be your first and last. Oh. Mmm. Mm. So delicious. No. Mm. Oh my goodness me. Chia seeds are good for you as well, sir. Got Isn't that good? That's really nice. Like, wow. Cloves. Cloves, cinnamon, and orange. It lasts for 40 hours. Mm. Right, that's everything. I was supposed to be going to an event this evening, as I did say. However, I don't think I'm going to make it because I have so much work to do. The joy of having a lovely trip. So you've got to play catch up. So I'm not going to go to, <laughs> not going to, go to the event and I'm going to crack on. Working, but I think I'm gonna end. This. I'm gonna make dinner. Oh, you are? Mm. Oh. For you. It's a nice offer. I'm gonna end. Oh, look at you, darling. Look at oh. I know. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And the biggest thank you to Waitrose for hosting me. It's been a joy. Has it? I just give Zara the debrief. It was beautiful. I loved it. Loved every minute. I'll leave everything linked possible down below. Anything you'd like to add? Did you like having him gone? Yes, it was so lovely just being with just Mark. Maggie, I wish I could have taken you. No, she wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.